Power Query is awesome at tidying up messy data, but the steps you apply can become quite long, quite convoluted, and your future self will thank you if you apply some of these simple steps. Let's go. So my scenario here is that I have a table of employee data. It's got all the information I need, except I want to merge on the side of it some data from this table, which is going to be the employee's age as of today. So I've already loaded the other table in. I'm just going to grab this one. So from table range, pull this table in. I'm going to convert the date of birth into an age. Uh, Control Shift Plus can zoom you in in the Power Query window. OK. So I'm just going to transform this column and use the date age option. Now that's the age in days, hours and minutes, etc., which is no use to anyone. So I'm going to right click transform and display it in total years. There we go. And right click. I want to round it down. Transform, round, round down. Perfect. That is years. Oh, sorry, age. OK. Now, it's all straightforward. But when com queries get more complicated, it can be nice to group them into sort of related groups and buckets. So what I'm going to do is group these steps here that are all about calculating age into a nice little um, group. So my trick for doing this, click on the change type step which is the step before the sort of group of items happens. Go to the FX button and click that to add a step. And all that does is just create a step that refers to the previous step. So these two things are, you know, identical. And it's this one that you rename. I'm going to press F2 and go for um, calculate age. And this one I'm going to rename as calculate age from DOB. OK, just so they're a bit different. Right, so this, this is my little tip. I'm going to add a little icon in here. So I'm going to go Windows key full stop. And my recent emojis are here. If you haven't got them in your recents, go to the heart, scroll down, and you will find them around here. I'm going to use this little button. Excellent. Then I go to the last step. I click on the FX again, press F2. Actually, I'm just going to save myself some typing. Control C, click on that, F2, Control V, and just change this symbol, Windows key full stop. Go to my recents, and there's the left arrow. Okay. So that's my first little tip. Group things together. Use some sort of indicator to show that all these items are related. I'm going to merge this onto the side of um, another query. So I'm going to merge this result onto the side of another one. So I'm going to, before I do merging, I tend to um, convert stuff to, so transform uppercase, for example, just in case somebody put in lowercase items. And also, just to double check, remove duplicates, especially when that list is coming from Excel, just in case somebody accidentally puts a duplicate in there. Then these steps are my prepping for my merge. So I'm going to click on this step, go FX, insert a step, okay, and F2, full stop, okay, prep for merge. And then the final step on here, I'm actually going to say that I'm going to merge this with employee details. So click the FX, ready for merge with employee details. Okay, that's just really helpful. Okay. Um, also, a little tip is if there's some sort of step that isn't obvious, uh, why you did it, you know, why did I round down? Right click on it, go to properties, and in this description box, you type the why you did something. 
This is the one that your future self will really thank you for because you will forget why you did something. So just type it in. Why did I do this? Okay. Put the whole explanation of why you did it in there. And then once you click OK, OK, there is a little indicator, which is awesome. Then you can go over to employee details and you can click the home merge queries button. And then you just merge on that little query you've set up. So employee age, employee code. Notice I haven't up increased the, um, actually I'll go back and do that now before I do that. So here we go, right click, transform uppercase. Really should do that first. Now I can go merge queries, employee age, that one with that one. Beautiful, click okay. Merges on the side, expand this out. Don't use original column name as prefix, very annoying. I just want the age and it's merged on the side. But re I'm rename, rename your steps over here. Merged, what's this? Table employee age. Okay, awesome. So that's my little tips. Also one little thing for when you're reviewing a model or reviewing some Power Query steps, sorry. Query dependencies. I often see people who aren't aware of this. So query dependencies shows how the queries relate to each other. So table employee age is feeding in to the employee details. You can change the layout as well, left to right, etc. Really useful for when you've got big complicated queries. So that sums things up. Hope you found that tip useful. Let me know what you think. If you want to keep up to date, please subscribe and we will catch you later. Thanks.